Just when you thought you were finally gonna be productive, these masterpieces were released. Hey everyone, I'm Ricky with WatchMojo, and today we are counting down our picks for the top 20 best open world games of all time. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch with you doing the punching. For this list, we're looking at the best and brightest games that let players explore a sprawling landscape with plenty of secrets to discover. Also, to keep things fair, we are limiting it to one entry per franchise. All right, let's get to number 20. Another trophy for the monster. Number 20, Far Cry 3. It is brave to swim a storm, but to sunbathe on a beach with pirates, insanity. It says a lot that Ubisoft have been trying to one-up themselves for seven years. FPS titles can be rather linear. While the story here arguably is, there is plenty of things to do on the Rook Islands. And it's all beneficial and unpredictable. You can take hunting side quests, eliminate enemy bases, and craft anything you need. The variety in how you tackle situations with different weapons and vehicles make exploring the chaotic setting totally worth it. Number 19, Subnautica. Space is daunting. So is exploring the deepest depths of the ocean. Put those two together, and you've got the utter brilliance that is Subnautica. After crashing onto a faraway planet, you're tasked with compiling resources in order to escape. Only, if you thought our planet's sea creatures were intimidating, just wait until you get a load of these. Subnautica knows how to keep you on your toes while you explore its dark, dangerous world. Number 18, Just Cause 2. Now this is how you create a bigger, bolder sequel. Just Cause 2 takes what its predecessor did and cranks the volume all the way up. On a grander island, with the amount of vehicles and weapons severely increased, players have way more fun causing mayhem. It's a bombastic, explosive, high-octane action movie of a game, and the freedom to bring this explosiveness to an expansive world is all the more satisfying. Number 17, Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl. It's far from the most well-known title on this list, but it demands the attention of any horror fan. Set after a second disaster at Chernobyl, you'd think they'd learn, this FPS survival horror game tasks players with hunting down their assassination target as an amnesiac hero. But exploring the area means coming into direct conflict with horribly mutated creatures and humans. It's an incredibly bleak game and an equally dreary landscape to discover. Don't forget about the mines. A mine bigger makes only two mistakes in life. Number 16, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. I had a family once. A wife and a son. And I buried them along with everyone I even knew. From the most ambitious game set in J.R.R. Tolkien's universe at the time, Shadow of Mordor needed a giant, perilous land to wander. Luckily, it did not disappoint. Set between the Hobbit and Fellowship, players roam as a vengeful archer of Gondor. There are legions of orcs and uruks to rip through, satisfying your need for revenge for your slain family. And it's all given more weight thanks to the game's inventive nemesis system. Trying to cause a distraction? Nothing will distract my blade from your neck. Number 15, The Simpsons Hit and Run. 
two, four, six, eight. You suck, I'm great. Da, 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 you, I hate. Take the longest running cartoon family and mash them with Grand Theft Auto, and you've got something way more fun than it sounds. I fought the law and I won! There's an alien invasion in Springfield, and wacky antics are bound to ensue. You're given objectives, but driving around town as recklessly as you want is a genuine treat. If you've ever wanted to play your way through the cartoon city, this is the closest you can get. Here we are! Now give me a green pill! It helps with the screaming! Number 14. Marvel's Spider-Man Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Exploration is a key factor for open-world games, and there are few games that feel as great as Marvel's Spider-Man. Swinging around New York City with a surprising amount of abilities is incredibly fluid, and there's a variety of tasks you can accomplish while doing this. And though we understand that some of them can grow a little stale, venturing into the world's different corners never does. You can also fast travel, but you don't really need to. But let's hear it from the caller. Go ahead. They won't let me in my building. You said it's quarantine. Number 13. Horizon Zero Dawn A far-off future where humans have reverted back to tribes and massive mechanical animals roam freely. Tell me you wouldn't want to explore that world's secrets. Players are given an absolute arsenal to use against these mechanized beasts, of which there is high variety. Taking the behemoths down feels immeasurably satisfying, and each new area of the world brings new tribes and pieces of the puzzle, leading you to discover what led to humanity's downfall. Number 12. Dark Souls. A game so influential, it became the benchmark for every grueling tough game. Dark Souls is unique to open-world titles with its labyrinthine design, but exploration is still significant, as is learning from the many, many mistakes you'll make when facing the game's difficult enemies. Though it may turn some gamers away, this learning process encourages others to keep exploring. How deep can you go? How long before another enemy rips you to shreds? Not very long, I promise you. Number 11. Near Automata. You okay? Good thing I landed that direct hit. Huh? Uh-oh. You'll die. All of you are going to die! Most post-apocalyptic worlds are gloomy and filled with dread, but Nier proves that they don't have to be. The overgrowth of nature is serene as you glide around as the Android 2B. Composer Kiichi Okabe's score lends itself well to the peaceful landscape, as well as the pulse-pounding action sequences which can have gameplay switch from hack and slash to shoot em up. And that's not even getting into its challenging and thought-provoking story. What path will you take? It's up to you to decide. Number 10. Fallout New Vegas That's right, Obsidian's Fallout spin-off made it while Bethesda's main entries didn't. But it more than deserves its spot. Most games in the series are showered with praise for open-world gameplay. New Vegas made improvements on that of Fallout 3 while including dastardly characters and tantalizing storylines that do the real Sin City proud. Is it any wonder my Legion has so little love for you? So tell me this, because I really want to know. I am feared with good reason. But you, of all people, dare to come here and stand before me, the mighty Kaisar. There are degenerates and factions hidden around every corner of this wasteland, making it endlessly fun to explore. Number 9. Assassin's Creed Odyssey
After 10 games, it's remarkable that Ubisoft only recently released the best in the series. Ancient Greece has never seemed so lively in a game, with each island lush with wildlife and packed with content. Yet, set against the Peloponnesian War, they also bring treacherous villains. Black Flag is another extraordinary entry, but with Odyssey's similar sea warfare, deep lore and characters, and quests that pull you in every direction, it's clear which reigns supreme. Did you actually need something, or did you just want to educate me on the finer points of democracy? Number 8. Batman – Arkham City Arkham Asylum already gave us Bat-tastic gameplay, so setting the sequel in a criminal-infested city was a gift from the heavens. Do you want to know something funny? Even after everything you've done, I would have saved you. <laughs> Batman has one of the best rogues galleries in comics. With each of his baddies receiving different types of quests and thugs crowding the streets, there's plenty the Caped Crusader can do. Take it easy. As we soared from building to building with Batman's belt of goodies, we knew it as the next evolution in superhero gaming. Number 7. Red Dead Redemption 2 Red Dead Redemption is an excellent Western experience. But its prequel is a masterclass in capturing life in the Old West. There's something to do everywhere you go, whether it be hunting, stealing, bringing in a bounty, solving murders, or just riding around on your trusty steed. It's the type of game you never want to end, a near-perfect adventure world you just want to keep living in. Got him and gonna kill him! Unless you bring me John Marston! Right now! Also, it's jaw-droppingly gorgeous. Number 6. Metal Gear Solid V – The Phantom Pain Well, I'm sure you'll see the bigger picture eventually. If you get out of here alive… Hideo Kojima birthed one of gaming's most treasured franchises and his final entry contains one of the most dynamic open worlds yet. A dynamic weather system, a real-time day-night cycle, and different types of terrain immerse you deep in the world. Blended with the series' signature stealth gameplay and the choice of your objective order, the world and enemies adapt to how you play. This positively forces the player to change up how they approach every situation. Number 5. Minecraft If you want a game to give you objectives, Minecraft may not be for you. But if you want a game that lets your imagination run wild, where you can build your own extensive open world, well, then let's face it, you've been playing this game for years. What players have been able to create with a bunch of pixelated blocks is genuinely astounding. In Minecraft, variety truly has no end. Number 4. Grand Theft Auto V Grand Theft Auto has seen numerous memorable entries. Just look at San Andreas. What's up, CJ? Where you been? Hey, sorry, bro. I got caught up. But when it comes to rampaging through a gigantic city, Rockstar have always managed to get better and better. Their latest was released way back in 2013, and they honestly haven't needed to release a new one since. With so much to do, a robust online community, and how addictive it all feels, it's like several games wrapped into one beautiful, notorious package. Number 3. The Elder Scrolls 3 – Morrowind Skyrim may get all the love, but it's Morrowind we have to thank for it. It's a precursor for everything we think of when it comes to open-world fantasy RPGs.
and it's exceedingly impressive for the time it was released. It is a 100% freeform experience, letting you venture into the unknown and carve your own path. Morrowind improved upon its predecessors astronomically and influenced the path Bethesda is still going down. Make it quick, Outlander. Number 2. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild The sentence, Nintendo reinvented the franchise, is said so often when referring to Breath of the Wild that it's almost lost its significance. But it should never be understated. Hyrule has never seemed so grand, so real, or so lived in. There's something tucked into every nook and cranny, whether it be a new weapon, a lovely village, or a magical, awe-inspiring moment. It beckons with a powerful sense of discovery unmatched by most games. Fight for your life, and it's death. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt We've said it before, and we will say it a thousand times. The Witcher 3 is an immense success when it comes to crafting a video game world. The dark fantasy setting lends itself incredibly well to the damaged characters and horrific monsters. There's a drive in Geralt to find his loved ones, but it's weighed down by thankless duty and a war-ravaged landscape. <laughs> Through him, the player wants to explore this massive continent, piecing back together a broken kingdom. I love the freedom and detail that open world games offer, and between Breath of the Wild and The Witcher 3, I have spent easily over 500 hours exploring every nook and cranny of their worlds. Alright friends, as always, thank you for stopping by. Please let me know how much time you've spent in one of these open worlds, and I'll see you guys next time.